Hey guys, this is Naudi Aguilar at Functional Patterns, and for today's Raw Bra Special, I'm going to be doing an advanced TRX exercise routine. For the first exercise, I'm going to be leaning back, holding onto the TRX. I'm going to be going into a row, but I'm going to try and build momentum off of that row to set me up into a push. So I'm going to go back and forth from this positioning. You'll notice as I come forward, my back doesn't sway. That's gonna put a lot of pressure on the lumbar region, and we gotta be very weary of that, that we don't put ourselves into that positioning. So the spine has to stay neutral at that lumbar region. So I come back, and then forward. After you get a little more advanced on it, what you can do is actually explode into it. So you'll see I'm going to explode with my hips and my upper body. I'll go here. Brutal on the core. For the second exercise, we're gonna need to thread the TRX twice so we can turn this into one handle. From there, I'm gonna step out in this direction and lean back. I'm going to hold onto that handle with both hands. From there, I'm going to pull and rotate at the top. Something to be mindful of when you're doing this exercise is that you keep your weight back in this direction. Keep, stay, keep your weight backward so that you get continual resistance on your body throughout the entire range of motion. So you just rotate on each side. This is very good for training the anterior and posterior oblique systems of your core. For the next exercise, we're gonna be lying backward like so. I'm gonna be loading my body for a rotation Gonna really be focusing on the lats and the glutes, which is more the posterior oblique system, or the opposite of what we just worked. And then from there, I'm going to pull, get myself to the top. I'm gonna chase that momentum, then pivot over and shoot my shoot my hand this way. I come back, I step over here, rotate, come up, shoot the arm forward, come back, up. Can really try keeping that shoulder stable. Try retracting that scapula and keeping it right in place through the entire movement. All right, for the th last exercise of this circuit, I'm going to undo the TRXs and I'm gonna bring them relatively close to the floor, maybe about six inches off the ground. From there, I'm gonna hook my feet in, kick my legs over, and set myself into this prone position. Spine is still neutral. Do not find yourself in this way, getting very taxing on that lumbar region. I'm going to scoot myself forward a slight bit, keep my spine neutral, and I'm going to come back with my body, then pull myself back into place. I come back, and I come up. Woo. If you want to make this movement more challenging, what you can do is do a knee tuck coming forward after you've initiated force with your arms. So you come back with the arms, pull the knees forward. This is Naudi Aguilar reminding you to live intentionally and not habitually. See you next time.